Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic Dirty Uncle Sam Radio on RBN. I'm coming to you with an extremely important message. This I just found on the internet and there is video proof, you know, with the things that have been going on with the Democratic National Committee and the convention as well. Everybody is outraged, whether you're a Republican, whether you're a Democrat, whether you're an independent, the situation with the voter election rigging uh, with the superdelegates, Hillary Clinton, everybody is extremely disgusted and they have made a joke out of our system. Now, we've known for a very long time that our system has been rigged, but this is blatant and in your face uh, rigged. And whether you agree or disagree with the Democrats is irrelevant uh, with what I am reporting on. It does not matter. The point is they are not having their voices heard. So not only are they not having their voices heard, I want to show you so that you can see for yourself just how corrupt mainstream media is as well. Mainstream media, you've been seeing the Democratic National uh, Convention on mainstream media across the nation um, and across the world. They've been showing everybody cheering for Hillary Clinton and all the, the seats filled and everything else. Well, you're getting ready to get a real shock. Um, I believe it was yesterday or at least the day before it was broken that the Craigslist actors the Democratic National Convention was hiring for actors needed for the convention. They were looking for 700 people to be utilized as actors during the National Convention. You'll be paid $50 each night for the remainder of the convention. You will be required to cheer at all times and will be asked to dress properly and possibly wear some promotional material. Of course, that would be for Hillary Clinton. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I want to uh, give a shout out to Wardo Rants. If I said that improperly, I apologize for that. Um, I'm going to give his full video in the link below in the description box. It is imperative that we get this information out to the people. The California delegates are the ones who are recording what you are getting ready to see. The California delegates are reaching out to the public and to the people. They are desperate to get people to understand and know what is really going on. The Democratic National uh, Committee and at the convention, they have basically locked out the real delegates and they have put these actors in the place of the delegates for mainstream media purposes. So, you know, can you, can you imagine how humiliating it must be for Hillary Clinton, President Obama, Michelle Obama, and everybody else who is speaking? The only reason they're getting claps is because people who have gone along with being paid $50 a day to sell out their country. What does this tell you? How disgusting and sad is it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this video. And like I said, uh, thank you, Ward I Rants. Uh, I just came across this as a matter of fact, and I felt that this was imperative enough. This needs to get out there. I'm not going to play his full video. I'm just going to play for you the part of the video that shows the actual delegates showing you what it really looks like inside the Democratic National Convention and what is really going on. She is desperate to get this message out there. Please help to make this video go viral so that the people around this nation will know mainstream media is not only complicit in this, but this is what is really going on and their voices are not being heard and they need to be heard. So here you go. But it looks like uh, during Hillary's uh, speech, they must be the ones holding the signs up in the nosebleed area. Hey guys, this is Eden here. I finally got into uh, the convention. We're in the California section. Apparently they've been letting everybody, all the other states in, and then they weren't letting in the California station. I'm going to turn around and let you see what it looked like when I got in. 
Uh, they said they were But when I got in, all these people were here. And they have already blocked off all of these sections where the Bernie Sanders supporters have been sitting, putting reserve signs on all of these seats where we can't sit. And if you look up here at this gray box, that is a white noise machine used to block out our chants and cheers. So share this video. The California Bernie Sanders delegates have been held outside their entrance for longer than every other state. And they've blocked off all of the seats with reserve signs for seat fillers or scabs. And they have placed a white noise machine above our section. Yeah, Susan, seat fillers, they're paying people 50 bucks a day to wear Hillary shirts and hold signs and come in here and sit down so there's no room for elected delegates. I have the California Democrats list of um, official, official elected delegates and Hillary and Bernie Sanders people with the names on them. And I can tell you that this section has not been full. This section has not been full every day. And we come in and now they've blocked off all the main seats. Um, and the Hillary people were standing um, outside. They were saying, what's the plan? What are the instructions? And they were saying the instructions are to save 10 seats. So they've already instructed the Hillary delegates in California when they get here to block off 10 seats. These are all the people who were in here when I just walked in, when I was told that seating hadn't begun yet. He's pulling off the reserve signs. Guys, please share this video. Please share this video and wonder a public, public status. Please share this video under public status. This is yours or right here. Nobody sit right here. This is, this is, they reserved it, they got here, all right? This is the lady who put the signs up. These people have been instructed they let, they let to save in like two hours early before yeah. us. They don't let us come in here on time, but they are here for more than two hours before. Yep. They are setting up all the stuff, yep. and we don't have no rights in here. Yep. They let seat fillers come in two hours before and block off entire rows. So I'm thinking that the answer might be, um, since these whips and security isn't helping, that we start screaming for Secret Service and explaining that non-credential people are on the floor. What do you guys think we should do? Look at, I'm going to show you all the reserved seats they've made in all the rabble rouser sections. All these white signs have reserved written on them. Oh, look, Oregon, our partners in justice. These are all blocked off. Please, all these white signs were blocked off. There are still signs in them. They're not saying these seats are off limits. There are little packages of all the signs people need to hold up for the evening, blocked off. And there are white noise machines that have been installed above the states that have been protesting uh, TPT, TPP and uh, chanting and yelling. <laughs> please, please share this video publicly, please. More than half of the seats have been marked off as reserved for scabs. This is what this is like a few seats right now. It's not a few seats. Ma'am, look at everybody. This was one of the ladies who came in and blocked off an entire row. I hope it was worth the $50 they're paying you. She must have really needed 50 bucks to come in and ruin her day. Little page that was here when I got here. I have a video of them. I have a video of DNC staffers with their credentials like this. Yep. So we couldn't see their credentials. And then as soon as I started calling them out, they left. Please, everybody, everybody, share this with a public, public sharing setting. They want, they want us to be rally all together. What we if, will. Can you please tell them live right now? Can you tell me what you see or what you know? Oh, so basically we were down there, we were sitting there, and we had a seats reserved. Somebody literally got up and then somebody d sat into that seat. And they're like, no, she's just planted her butt there and it's not moving. So they're already starting this. So we all decided that as Bernie supporters, we're just going to all stand together. Because, okay. So. We'll stand. And you know what? When I was waiting to get in, there were two Hillary delegates. And one of them said, what's the plan? What's the instructions? And he said, the plan is we're supposed to go in and save 10 seats each. Yeah. And then they ran off and split to two different entrances and then went in. Yeah.
That's it. Yep. So that's basically it. And they have whips on the floor when they see us pull up or TPP sign. The floor whips tell them stand. They have floor whips, extra oh, yeah. floor whips and security telling the Hillary supporters in front of us to stand up whenever we stand up, that's giving them extra signs and banners so they can cover more of us. Guys. So they just, they just isolated us and put us together yep. even more now. My name so. is Edith McFadden. I'm a District 34 delegate. I represent over 16,000 voters in my district who are all getting disenfranchised right now. Can you tell me your name, yep. district? I'm Jose Caballero, and I am a District 53, which is the San Diego district, which is close to about 200,000 people in that district. So. Yep. So all of our voters are getting disenfranchised right now by them trying to keep us out of this convention. Are you here? Doesn't seem to be as big of a problem over here in Oklahoma, but it looks like Wyoming's pretty blocked off. My eyes are bad, I can't really see. Connecticut is blocked off, Ohio is blocked off, Oregon is blocked off. Everywhere is blocked. <laughs> Vermont is blocked off. Um, it's, I, I mean, as you can clearly see, guys, half of the fucking seats in the DNC have been blocked off from sitting in technically before seating began. Ra Ra, I want to show you something. Look, guys right up here, this is a white noise machine that has been placed above the California delegate section that is going to prevent people from hearing our chants and cheers and what we have to say. That is a white noise machine that has been placed over the rabble rouser sections like us in Oregon. It was not there yesterday. Everybody is going live right now. No, no, I get that. This entire this entire section plus Right, so so everyone Welcome Amanda Michelle if you're just catching up. Um, Bernie Sanders delegates were kept corralled outside their entrance um, to the DNC when other sections were letting their delegates sit. And when we finally entered, we'd seen that half of our seats had been blocked off with reserve signs, along with about half of the seats in all the other uh, progressive um, protesting TPP states. Um, there definitely has not been a full section in California. We have not filled this section all week. And now there's not going to be enough room unless we rip these signs down for us to sit. They've also placed white noise machines above uh, progressive protesting state delegate stations. That's the white noise machines. Yeah, but they weren't here yesterday. Yeah, those white noise machines were not here all week. Guys, if you could please share this video and make sure it's set to public. Oh shit, there was just a spark of fire up there. Yeah, Michael, you're right. We're literally being silenced. I mean, they have the fucking nomination. What more do they want? I was elected. I represent over 16,000 voters in my district. This is Mishna. She's my fellow uh, District 34 delegate. She also represents over 16,000 voters. Uh, Northeast LA, um, Echo Park, Highland Park, Glassell Park. Oh shit. Guys, there's like a fire starting. Yeah. Feel the burn! Feel the burn! Maybe not that bad, guys. There's a fucking fire started in here. Everything's a conspiracy now, though. Like, I mean, by nature, I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. But, I mean, right now, we send someone down here because they'll let you come in and seat hours before. And then there's a chunk where they'll block it off where the performers are mic checking. And um, the person we sent in to reserve seats said that they were already roping off. Highland Park, hello! Guys. There. Nobody puts California in a corner. <laughs> Guys, please, 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 please share this. California delegates are getting blocked from sitting in our section. Thank you, Rara. Guys, this is serious. And just in case you were wondering, here's where all the actual Bernie Sanders supporters are. Hillary! Hell no! DNC! We won't vote for 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 Hillary! 
Okay, so as you can see, it's not the situation that mainstream media is having you to believe. So I'm going to pull up a video just to show you just how much mainstream media, Hillary Clinton, and all of them are full of it. They are going against the people's voices. Now, just as I have said before, this is not a Democrat or Republican issue. This is a corruption issue. How in the world anyone can uh, be fooled by this unlawful woman who constantly attacks the people is disgusting. It is disgusting for our country. It is disgusting for voices that even don't agree with the way that I see things. Right is right and wrong is wrong. So the Democratic National Committee, of course, is not only propagandizing the world, they have to pay people $50 a day in order to clap for her, and they are kicking out delegates, and those delegates are representing 16,000 people? Their voices are not being heard. They want to scream and claim that they don't believe in a border wall, but they put a fence, look right here, around the Democratic National Committee, around the convention, because of the Bernie Sanders, everybody who is enraged about what has happened. This isn't just about the Democratic National Committee, people. Your voices are being silenced. And what's worse is if you put her in the White House, do you think that's going to change? Do you think she's going to listen to your voice? Or is she just going to pay $50 a head for pretend supporters because you can believe nobody, nobody in their right mind from the Demo on the Democratic Party or on the Republican Party or in the independents or anybody else supports that evil woman. She is corrupt to the core. Now, let me show you the fictitious way that mainstream media twists this. And I'm doing this also so that you will realize just how much propaganda goes out in the mainstream media to make it appear as if everybody, she just has so much support, so much love. Everybody just loves Hillary Clinton. Now, you saw exactly what that stadium looked like. So. Take a look at the crowd. I'm not going to play this whole video, but this one is off of PBS NewsHour. I'm only going to play a little bit just so that you can see the crowd and the fictitious stuff. When they go to clapping, you can also tell those machines that that lady was pointing out, that, that the delegate was pointing out, those machines, I am sure, are, are electronic clap machines or applause machines where they can program any sound they want to come out of them and they come out of them to make it appear as if she has a heck of a lot more support than what she does. So let's see how much 700 paid actors plus more um, and, and just how much the Democratic National Convention with the help of mainstream media because they refuse to report the truth of what is going on and we must get this information out there we must get this information out to the people to let them know they're not only being propagandized and lied to by mainstream media they're being done so by the Hillary Clinton it is a fictitious narrative the people who did support Bernie Sanders who from California and from the different states you could see it on the own video has been blocked out and if you don't want corruption to run rampant in your country and you don't think this is right, it is now time to take a stand. No matter who you choose to vote for, if you vote for Hillary Clinton, then you are saying that it is absolutely okay that your vote be stolen. It is okay for voices not to be heard. It is okay for this corruption to stand. Wow, did you see that? Let's back up here. Let, let's look at all their support. Woohoo! Let me see if I can get there. Let's go back. 
right there. Oh my goodness, look at all that wonderful support. And they've got the Hillary signs and everything else. Each one of the paid actors was paid $50 a day. It was out on Craigslist. This has been busted out nationwide news. No new thing. How sad is it that you have to hire somebody to clap for you because nobody, absolutely nobody wants to hear your corrupt speech. Absolutely nobody believes you. Absolutely nobody. And they don't because they know exactly what kind of scum you are, Hillary Clinton. So for the delegates out of California that were supporting Bernie Sanders, it breaks my heart to see what's what's going on your voices do need to be heard I do hope this makes you really think about and look at what the Democrat structure is really about because um, you can find a lot in the history of it and all this is doing is proving once again that the Democratic structure is not about the people it is about keeping the control and the power so please help this video go viral I will leave the links in the video box description box below thank you God bless you as always truth stands and mainstream media once again you failed you have failed and you have failed because of truthful individuals that were inside the Democratic National Convention you failed because of the real media you've been put on notice and you're losing your support thank you God bless you Semper Fidelis watch your back and check your facts and good night